Hey, it's James from the Northern Guitar Studio. In today's lesson, we're going to be taking a look at power chords. So power chords are one of the first steps that new guitarists take in moving up the fretboard and they allow us to play thousands of different songs and give us a way to play any major or minor chord on guitar with just one really simple shape. They truly are amazing. And to help you out getting started learning them, I'd love to give you my Power Chords Made Easy guide, which shows you how to play a power chord and how you can remember the names of all the power chords going up and down the neck of the guitar so you can then get on and play the songs that you love. There's a link to that guide in the description below where you can go and download it. So in today's lesson, I'm going to show you where power chords come from and how you can then take them up and down the neck. Let's get started. To begin with, let's consider our E-shaped chords. We've got two. We've got an E major chord and an E minor chord. And there's actually only one note different between these two chords, which is this note here on the third string. Which then means that the lowest three strings are the same for E minor and E major. And this chord has its own name. It's called an E5 chord. You don't need to worry about that because everybody else would just call it an E power chord. But what's really important to remember about this chord is that it's not a major chord, nor is it a minor chord. It's kind of halfway between the two, which means you can use it as an E major chord or an E minor chord. And what makes it even better is that you can then take that chord and move it up the neck to get any other chord. It's really amazing. So let's start with this shape here and move these two fingers up one fret. So now they're both at the third fret on the fifth string and the fourth string. We're then gonna add in our index finger back here on the first fret of the low sixth string. Now, if you find that a bit of a stretch, you can use your ring finger and little finger instead. And I find that a bit easier myself, so I'll do that for the rest of today's lesson. Now, because we've moved the shape, we've now got a new chord, and this is an F power chord. And I know it's an F because this note here on the low E string is an F, and that is the root note of the chord. So all you then need to do to be able to play any other chord is just know the names of the root notes going up this low E string. Now, they may look like a lot to begin with, but don't worry, we're gonna make it really easy in today's lesson. To start with, you only need to know up to here, the seventh fret, I'll explain why later on. And really, to begin with, you actually only need to know three notes. And those are the names of these dotted notes here, the third fret, the fifth fret, and the seventh fret. So, at the third fret, we've got a G. At the fifth fret, we've got an A. At the seventh fret, we've got a B. G, A, B. We can then add in that chord to get a G power chord, an A power chord, and a B power chord. Okay? Now, you may have come across sharps and flats. Don't worry, they're really easy, okay? So let's start with a sharp. All that is, is just one fret up from the current position. So say we want to play a G sharp chord. I'd find my G here at the third fret. I'd then move it up one fret to get a G sharp, and then add in the rest of the chord. So that's a G sharp power chord. And a flat is the opposite. So a flat is one fret down. So say I want to play a B flat chord, I'd find my B here at the seventh fret, go one fret down, I'd then have B flat, and there you go, that's a B flat chord. So what this suddenly means is that you can then play all of those different chords from E all the way through to B and everything in between which is really great and will unlock a lot of songs. But you're probably wondering, what if we want to get some other chords like C and D? 
Well, don't worry, that's where we've then got the A-shaped power chord. And you might be thinking, oh no, I've got to learn a new chord. Don't worry, it's pretty much exactly the same thing. So let's just take a look at the A shape. We've got an A major and an A minor. And again, those three strings are the same for both chords. So we can use these three strings to make an A shape power chord, which we can then move up the neck to get loads more chords. So we've got an A here, at the third fret we've got a C, then at the fifth fret we've got a D, and at the seventh fret we've got an E. So now we've gone all the way from E here, right the way through to E up here. And then that means that just by sort of figuring out sharps and flats, you can then play any chord on guitar, which means you can now unlock chord sequences that were probably impossible for you to play before. So let's take, for example, this one. E to C sharp, to F sharp, to B. You've got, what, two, two sharps in there that are just inaccessible otherwise using open chords and that is why power chords really are amazing and if you really want to cement your knowledge of power chords and really understand where they all are going up and down the neck even further up the neck then go and grab my free power chords made easy guide it's really going to help you out a great deal thank you very much for watching this lesson and i will see you next time